there is an unprecedented situation happening in Manipur. In the last week or so, we have seen how violence has escalated in the state. There have been drone attacks, there have been rocket bombs being dropped that has led to the loss of lives and injuring civilians. There has also been protests on the streets of Imphal. Yesterday, we saw thousands of people out on the streets of Imphal holding a torch, a flame and demanding an end to this conflict. Today also we saw the student community protesting out on the streets, demonstrating in front of the governor's house. The protest has turned violent as well. So the, the, the situation that we saw in Manipur last year, wherein the violence broke out from May 2023, has again resurfaced and this time it is more deadly because of the nature of the violence. We have seen aerial attacks, we have seen drone bombs and as such the challenge for the security personnel is even higher. The security personnel, especially the central forces, are working 24 into 7 to stop these attacks from escalating. There has also been an anti-drone system being deployed to tackle the aerial threat. However, the conflict, the ethnic conflict that we have seen last year still continues and the tensions are still there in the state. The Manipur chief minister has met the governor twice in a spam of 14 hours. One of the discussion in that particular meeting as per sources is to hand over the unified command to the chief minister, the chief minister to lead the uniform command. That has been one of the demands. The student community that was seen protesting on the streets of Imphal also demanded the unified command to be handed over to the state government and more local control to tackle the law and order situation in Manipur. But the fact of the matter is that two communities are sparring against each other and there has been no end to this conflict that we have seen since the last year. It has been more than one year and it still continues. People are still dying. So the, so the fact of the matter is, what more next? What will be the course of action that finally brings peace in the state of Manipur?